There's an intensity around the convention of states as an idea that is yeah. really noticeable. There's a reason for that. Wherever you go, you're going to run into a convention of states person. They're going yes, to try and corner always, you. Yes, <laughs> always, always, like the Hare Krishnas. Have you heard about the convention of states? <laughs> well, so what that tells you that I love is it's a movement. I personally am for it. Perhaps a convention of states is our last best hope to create a government that is worthy of those who gave the last full measure of devotion to the United States so we could all remain free. I love it so much because you are right, it evokes our founding father's wisdom. Thankfully, there is something called Convention of States Article 5 in our Constitution. It's gathering momentum. 20 states have almost passed it, where state legislatures can call an amending convention. This is within the Constitution for a reason. I think, I think just getting that convention together, calling it alone, will have a useful function for the country. And I challenge every other GOP candidate in this field to recognize the same thing. Florida has already certified it. Many other states have certified it. We have the ability to do this because I don't care if you're Republican, Independent, Democrat, male, female, black, white, everyone believes we need term limits for members of Congress. When I was in the South Carolina General Assembly, uh, I supported a joint resolution calling for an Article 5 Convention of States. This was just last year. It passed this re resolution and became the 19th state in the country calling for that Convention of States. Who am I going to stand with? Is it going to be we, the bureaucracy and the federal government? Absolutely not. But I will stand with we, the people, and I'm looking forward to Iowa being the 20th state to pass the Convention of State, to pass these amendments. I strongly think the only way to fix D.C. is from the outside in, with, when the, with the states stepping up and the states becoming the parent again. I know that you have endorsed the Convention of States, uh, along I with uh, uh, Pete Hegseth, and I really think that that's the only thing that's going to take this uh, country and put it back on the right track. Ten years ago, my co-founder Michael Ferris and I founded the Convention of States Project, and can't believe it's been 10 years. So much has been accomplished over the last 10 years and all of it because of the hard work of activists like you. We built Convention of States for you, but really it's you who make it happen. As I look forward to the next 10 years, I'm sure one of the things we're gonna do is we're gonna call America's first Article 5 convention under the United States Constitution. And when we do, all credit's gonna belong to you because you, the activists, are the ones who are gonna make it happen. Now, since launching a decade ago, the Convention of States has blossomed from this fantasy possibility that people laughed at. It now has millions of supporters across the nation, and states are starting to wake up and sign on in droves. A Convention of States is going to happen. The people of this country are going to realize the availability of this powerful tool our wise and founding fathers gave us and an Article 5 convention will be called. And I fight state legislators every day over this as a former legislator saying, you are the most powerful player under the Constitution. Convention of States, Article 5, state legislatures, it's time to step up. 20 of them have. We need 14 more. You want to fix the country? That's how we fix the country. So we can change the swamp Yes. Outside of the Outside swamp. Outside the swamp. This is great. It's great and it's, stuff. You, we can go to conventionofstates.com. When it comes to a convention of states, I would much rather fight it out of who is truly the most committed and the most organized. There's a mechanism here that we don't have to keep doing this. We can go, we can create something that just completely goes around these people. And that's really why we're here, to see if that can work. This simulation is going to, I think, reinforce everything that's good about the Convention of States movement. These are folks who, who understand what's at stake in the country. People rise above the everyday. We are simply using the Constitution to save the Republic. This is our time. Wait and see. It's, it's going to be fun. Just weeks before he was elected as Speaker, Congressman Johnson chaired an important congressional hearing on Article 5 and the Convention of States movement. An amendment may be proposed by two-thirds of the states, and a convention called for that purpose. To date, no such convention, convention has ever been called, but efforts have been underway in recent years to do so. The Convention of States, for example, advocates that states pass an identical application, 
limited to proposing amendments that would impose federal or fiscal restraints on the federal government, limit the power and jurisdiction of the federal government, and limit the terms of office for its officials and for members of Congress. And, and y'all can anticipate that as a direct result of, of that simulation, that we're going to be really supportive of your effort moving forward beyond just my own personal support, but the institutional support of Heritage and, and, and all of our own supporters. But wouldn't it be nice if we heard here at CPAC at least one damn politician get up and say, I encourage you to support Convention of States rather than give you pablum about we're going to cut this and we're going to cut. No, you're not, because Washington is not going to fix Washington. You're going to fix Washington through Convention of States, Article 5.